This is Sonomancer. You're watching Sal TV. Competitive, scary, pink and green fortress TV. Whatever. I don't even know where I was going with that. But this is going to be a pretty high level game, ladies and gentlemen, from Australia. All the way from our gentleman down south. Um, and let's just get it out of the way right now. I bet they're playing with their monitors upside down. Oh, that's so funny! Alright, anyway, this is going to be Team Supremacy versus Spice Boys. They are Div 1 Australian. Um, the... the Oz Fortress Winter League 8, I think is what this is, OWL, number 8, and it does look like uh, these are some pretty good players, not going to lie, that Australia has some pretty awesome teams, um, I think they only have one like super dominant team like I am, so they're sort of like a classic mix-up that would be like the, the super team from Australia, it'd be fun to see whether they could, you know, whether they could get one of these international lands and come, uh, come hold their own, but right now SPR, Team Supremacy, versus in the red, Spice Boys, um, SPR win the mid-fight, and Havoc, by the way, the only friend I have down there, except for, like, Griever and a couple of the WM is on my friends list, um, I think, what is it, War Machine is what that stands for, anyway, uh, Havoc sends me games every so often, so we'll see if he sent me a game where he wins or lost this time, spoiler alert, he sent it to me, but actually, it doesn't mean anything, because he's actually sent me games, I think, where he's lost before, um, they might, I'm telling you, they might lose this one, okay, I'm not lying, Anyway, uh, <laughs> I don't actually know what the score is going to be at all. Um, SPR, though, hanging out on mid. And it's pretty typical for Badlands. Oh! Oh, okay. That was his own team's sticky trap. I was very confused as to how his enemy demo man put those sticks right there. I was like, what? No! Okay, anyway. Uh, team Supremacy hanging out still on mid. They've lost a soldier, though, and that does mean that I think their opponents are going to be pushing in. Um, Twitch.tv slash Natapon. Um, I like that. Although, it does look like right now he's not doing a heck of a lot. He's got that uber 100%, and Epps able to get a couple of kills there. Um, no, it was just one, really. As the rest of his team did lose a lot. The uber exchange is going down, but it is favoring the blue team right now. The uber is just going to end here, and this medic is going to get in trouble. Epps does save him for now. Uh, looks like med will manage to get out, actually. Natapon able to retreat back to his base, and he will start healing again. Problem is, he's got a little bit of a disadvantage compared to Havoc who is already at 20%, um, and they should be able to push this pretty effectively. So they are trying to get to the Spire already. I like that play from Supremacy. Um, of course, in Australia, the Spire is actually really easy to get on top of because it's upside down, so you just drop down into it and you cap it. But, uh, you know, <laughs> I know! Upside down jokes about Australia. They're the greatest. Uh, Supremacy losing a bunch of players here as the Spice Boys are trying to tear it up. And... I already forget what I was told about these teams. I think, though, um, uh, is Havoc here to help me out? You know what? He's not. Uh, okay, so I did find that information. I'm I'm kind of a moron. But basically, I want to make sure I relay a little bit about these teams here as the uh, Spice Boys actually capture mid. Possibly, I don't think it's the first time this game, but it's pretty close, so they haven't held mid for too long. Um, the Spice Boys, though, are apparently, as they were described to me, a bunch of MGE heroes. So these guys are going to be very, very good at individual deathmatch skill. They're going to have good aim. They're going to have uh, decent positioning. Versus uh, the Wonder Boys, actually, the as they are sponsored now. So it's called Team Supremacy because I'm pretty sure they have a sponsor. Pretty cool. But uh, last season they were called the Wonder Boys. And you may remember them. I think I've casted the Wonder Boys before. In fact, I'm almost certain I have because they're Havoc's team. So, duh. All right. Uh, and it looks like they are sponsored by Ozone Gaming. So Ozone Gaming, you guys rock. Let's say it right now. Uh, we need more sponsorship money for TF2, and I will totally pimp your entire organization. Uh, a crit screen coming in from Havoc here, and it looks like may have noticed this, so I'm already backing up pretty effectively, but where is the demo man right Where is the demo man? I, oh, Havoc goes down. Never mind. It was a good bomb by a Spaceman, actually. Not even a bomb, it was just a pipe that Spaceman managed to hit. Um, and that does mean that our good... Oh, nice try there, Epps. Nice try. But uh, our good friend with the Chris Creek didn't get to use it at all. Epps jumping around right now trying to spot some retreating uh, scout, maybe? And he does manage to deal a lot of... Oh, that's not a retreating scout. It's actually a scout behind their own line. So they, they try to push the Uber in. Problem is, they let a bunch of players in behind. Epps is going to try and jump the Spire, but he eats a rocket there, somehow surviving. And they haven't quite lost the Spire yet, but all it's going to take is one tiny little jump by a scout. You see Smoglet still standing up there, and I know I've casted Smoglet before. This guy is a beast scout. Um, 
But he was standing up there trying to make sure they didn't lose that point. Uh, all it takes is like one scout to get up there for like a second or two, and they will have lost Spire. But it looks like they are going to stack this point very effectively. Uh, well done by the Spice Boys. Wasn't there... Never mind. I was going to ask if there was a musical group called the Spice Boys ever. There probably was. I know, I know, Spice Girls. Salamancer, come on out with the Spice Girls. I know, guys, it's the... Uh, I'm just wondering if there was like a parody on that. I'm pretty sure there was all kinds of parodies. Because when you get that popular, you're going to have parodies. Um, you know what? I haven't had a parody of me done yet. I feel kind of bad now. I'm not popular enough to have people parodying my stuff. Well, okay. I guess I'll just go be depressed. Anyway, uh, the C Team Supremacy, I'm sorry, is way back on their second point right now. They've lost one player, but they kind of traded a scout for a scout, so that's not too bad. They are going to pop the Uber right through this choke, being really aggressive, uh, and they did manage to take the enemy med down to, like, 11 health, so as this Uber ends, it's actually going to be really interesting to watch where Natapon is, because he is not grabbing a health kit. If he takes even the slightest bit of damage, he's going to go down, and he's really out of position right now. Most of his team is taking way too much, too many hits, um, and he's, he did manage to get a little bit of regen, but he is way, way out of position. He could get very hurt right here. Good dodging! But sadly, he does get taken down, and so Team Supremacy capitalizing on that. Um, you saw in that upon, he was too hurt. Uh, he let himself get too hurt before that Uber, and so what that caused was just uh, he wasn't able to really get you know aggressive heals onto his team. He had to hide after the Uber was over, and so he couldn't heal his team up. Um, not really working very well. I love the basher jump. I love it. That's awesome. Clever Tommy. You are a clever scout. And you know, uh, with this uber advantage from Team Supremacy, we might actually see the first round of the game. So I was talking about this on um, on my, my last Shoutcast vid, um, where you can open that door and back away from it, and if the demo man, even if he's watching, sometimes those stickies detonating will not actually hit you. Um, that's kind of how you do it. You just kind of walk up to the door and back away immediately as a scout, and you can get away with it. Smoglet on the Pyro, so, I mean, they know this Uber's coming in. They have to shut it down somehow. Pyro not taking a lot of damage, but he's down to 11 health now. Somehow managed to stay alive, so he can just switch classes or do whatever he wants. Problem is, right now, Sev, oh, he blocked the spawn. He's got stickies all over the place, doing an amazing job on the demo. And yet, so there's too many defenders right now, so he's going to have to back up. Somebody tried to get in there and cap, but it's just Sev left alive, and he, oh, good dodging, but not good enough. So the Spice Boys able to hold that last very effectively. Uh, I like it. I like the pyro play they had. Somehow their pyro stayed alive for a lot longer than he should have. That was uh, that was good stuff, man. And now we do have the Spice Boys getting ready to be aggressive with their own uber advantage. Is Mant playing Roaming Soldier? Probably. And now Epps is uh, getting the uber here. Those look like his demo man, Spaceman, was able to take out a lot of players with a couple of stickies inside that house. And so that does mean that both soldiers are down. Uh, even if Havoc, well, by the time he has an Uber, I guess his soldiers will be back up. But he's not able to heal soldiers right now, which is not a good thing for him. So I'm going to watch uh, as Snowblind gets over here on the flank with a nice little overheal. Just putting some pressure on over there. And the more attention he takes from there, the less attention they can be putting on Choke. So right now you do see uh, a lot of red players coming in through that Choke point. Spaceman's already in. He's trying to clear the way for his scout, maybe. Laying a sticky trap, interestingly enough. What that's going to mean is maybe they're trying to prepare for the eventual counter Uber from Team Supremacy. They want to back up and draw their enemies into that sticky trap, I think. I think that is what's going to happen here. So, uh, yeah, they know Team Supremacy is going to get aggressive. They know it, but... Uh, Oh, oh could have detonated it right there. Could have gotten the kill on the demo, but I don't think he was watching too well, so he is just going to have to uh, ignore that trap for now and start laying down normal normal sticky bomb damage. Just too bad. I would have loved to see that trap work out. Um, neither team has popped their Uber yet, but actually, Team Supremacy is in a very bad place right now. Somehow, Clever Tommy gets around and completely destroys Spaceman. Mance is down. Uh, can Clever Tommy stay alive against this overhealed scout? I don't think it's going to happen, but so far, he's dodged him expertly. And he does manage to grab the health kit, so Smoglet focusing on Clever Tommy, not able to get him. And now it seems Supremacy is looking good. Smoglet wants to get the kill on the med, though, and he does. So, my God, these guys are just all over the place. It is a very brutal game right now with nobody really able to uh, shut down their flanks completely. It's just been, it's been chaotic. That's what it's been. Um, SEV. I swear that looks like a unit of measure for, like, electricity or something, you know? But I don't know what S would stand for, because EV definitely looks like electron volts. I'm pretty sure that's how you how you capitalize electron volts. But what is what is the, the prefix S, you know? Because, like, G would be giga, M would be mega. I don't know what the heck S would be, though. I don't even know if it is one. Um, good damage coming down by Sev, though. He's able to deal a heck of a lot of uh, 
of points of damage onto the enemy team. DPS out of this guy. It's a demo man. What do you expect? But yeah, good sticky aim and, and good way to take advantage of a clumped up group of enemies. Um, now he's going to just jump straight forward. Looks like he does have that pain train on as well. And yet, there goes Havoc. So once again, Smoglet proving just how awesome of a scout he is. Um, every time it looks like there's an uber advantage for Supremacy recently, Smoglet just runs in and it's like nobody stops him. And he's like, hi, Med. How you doing? Are you a good Med? No? Well, even if you are, you're dead anyway. So, Sev wants to get in and start maybe laying some sticks down. But my gosh, these scouts on this team, Frey Snowblind is dealing a lot of damage, as is his friend, and Smoglet taking a basher jump now as well. Gotta love it. It's much faster to get onto that spire, and the faster you get up here, the faster you're capping. Looks like uh, Supremacy loses all their players once again, including their med. Wow. It's still 0-0. Zero to zero. We've been going for 10 minutes here on Badlands. Back and forth like a seesaw from one last point to the other. Smog with getting in and uh, getting revenge. Somehow Clever Tommy actually was, uh, with his dodging skills, just hadn't been killed by Smoglet at all. We've got a sniper out. He's probably going to be standing on the battlements. Uh, no, he's really far forward. Tried to go for a headshot on that demo man, but didn't manage to get it. Um, and now he'll have to back out, maybe change classes here. He doesn't want to change classes, actually. He still wants to try and hold down the flank. He's going to have to now, though. There you go. He will change back. Um in his own last spawn there. He was going to get camped into that spawn otherwise and just be totally useless. So, you know, he did a good thing. Uh, Med getting a lot of damage on him, but Havoc is able to stay alive so far. And now Clever Tommy's jumping in. Uh, good scout in his own right. Maybe going for uh, a bit of a flank route? No? Okay. No clue what he's going for right now. The Uber's actually in for a Natapon, but once again, Natapon is really damaged, so they're going to have to be really careful about how they handle this. He may want to get that health kit, but it's already been taken. So he's going to back away, and if he takes a lot of damage here, he is dead. 50 health left right now, and he is getting chipped just a little bit. Um, plus, there's a backup going on, so he has to back up here. Very, very good movement by this med, so he managed to stay alive. Not really taking a heck of a lot of hits. Problem is, um, Cortex... No, no, was it Cortex? I don't even know anymore. Somebody backcapped. And now they're continuing the backcap route. Spaceman wants to get up here and stop this, but he's going to get pressured by a scout. Going to have to jump over that. And it looks like there's still a soldier up here to cap with a pain train. Is that soldier? That soldier's running the pain train. So, uh, completely ridiculous right now. As Team Supremacy actually has another shot to get into their enemy's last point. Um, Drakar. Drakarg? I don't know is thinking about poking in, decides to back out, he sees the heavy, he's just like, there's there's no way. There's no way. Um, no, but he's going to be getting his team ready to push Smoglet on the heavy now, which is going to be an important class to play because he gets to stay alive forever, taking a whole bunch of damage. Havoc gets taken down again! These scouts, I they're everywhere! Like, if I were Havoc right now, I would be very hacked off because these scouts are just able to completely destroy him. And now the rest of his team is dying as well. Sev is trying to come in and once again lay some sticks down on the point. There's actually a couple players coming in, but uh, Spice Boys will hold it for now. They oh my gosh, Epps, how does he hit these shots? Somebody tell me how he hits, hits these shots, because Epps hits shots like no other. So they are going to push out to, uh, to second once again. There is a sniper up right now, but he's got to watch out for these sticky traps. And no, he can't even get out there. Good sticky placement by Space Boy, uh, Space Man, I'm sorry, on the Spice Boys. Uh, you do see that happening a lot from these demo men, that at the very highest level, it's like, well, they might bring out a sniper, so I may as well try to block off as much of that area as possible, not let the sniper get on me. And now Drac is just going to be kind of watching for the first person to, you know, stick his neck out at that choke point. But nobody actually did. They came through house. So I, the Spice, I'm sorry, yeah, the Spice Boys. I was going to say the Space Boys, but whatever. The Spice Boys are playing it really well, right up until they lost a couple players here. Drac actually finally getting a headshot, so, so making himself useful there. And I got to say, Sniper is a gamble. If you can't get the headshots, you are such a useless class because you're not dealing hardly any damage at all. Um, or the body shot on the med, but pretty much you need the headshots. So if you're going to be a competitive sniper at this level, you need to be shooting heads nonstop. Um, and Drac is actually just going to walk up the spire because nobody's here to stop him. Now, where is the enemy med? He wants to know. And gets a nice little hit there on the scout. That scout, though, is going to probably take him out. Uh, maybe not. The scout is uh, kind of hurt, but one meat shot is all it takes from Smoglet, and Smog somehow is just destroying people. Still, uh, at this point, Clever Tommy might be able to stop him. And there you go. Clever Tommy does get that kill on Smoglet. Nonetheless, Havoc down once again. Epps able to get two kills with like one rocket there. 
Oh my gosh, this game is ridiculous. Supremacy. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very glad I was sent this game because it's amazing. But Supremacy, once again, they're into their enemies last. They, they keep having these opportunities and then they keep throwing them away. Basically, what I want to watch for now is where is um, my Smoglet? Because this guy, it's either this guy or Frey. Right now, they're actually playing really far back. What are, what are they doing? What are they doing? They're both just like stopped. Where are they stopped? There you go. Okay, so maybe they were both just like typing to each other. I have no clue. Smoglet going sniper. Um, I want to watch Snowblind here or Frey. Is it Frey? I don't know. Because this guy, last time around, got ridiculous med kills. They're actually not going for it this time. I guess they they don't think they have to because they don't have an uber disadvantage. So that makes sense. They'll just let the enemy push into them. Um, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Not sure what Smoglet was doing. I think he may have... Oh, you know what? I do know what he was doing. Because he actually just um, picked the disguise. I don't know what he was disguised as, but it may have been the enemy medic. And he was trying to see whether it was going to be an Uber or a Crits coming in. So that's why he just did that. He just wanted to... Uh, if you disguise the enemy med and you pull out your you know, fake med gun, you can actually see what the med is using. Smoglet getting a nice kill on Vantum and on Havoc. And he's going to chase down the Sevo Man as well. It's just Sev left alive right now. Sev managed to get a health kit. And cover his retreat with Sticky. So, so far, so good. Uh, problem is, once again, Team Supremacy loses it. And they just falter on offense. So, these these wild and crazy gamers are once again pushing out to mid. Um, and Team Supremacy, uh, they've got a bit of an uber disadvantage. Not going to be too much, though. Probably not enough for the red team to push on. We'll find out. I mean, the red team likes to push anyway. They're, they're going to find some way of getting into the flank. Um, as Frey Snowblind managed to take down Drakarar on that soldier. And now he's going to be coming into the flank, getting really aggressive here. This is why they were saying they're MGE heroes. I mean, you look at the crazy, incredible amount of aim and dodging skill that Frey has. And he's just able to jump in and dive into two scouts and be like, yeah, I can take you both out, no problem. No problem. And he's getting in behind the enemy team. And oh, he has been spotted though. Got to watch for the uh, rock. It's oh my gosh! How did that not hit him? So he's thinking about going inside for the kit, and he will be able to grab it. I like how how far back he is right now. Nobody's able to stop him here. Uh, problem is though, they have been able to stop the Uber from capping the point. And so Team Supremacy, they've lost their med, but they've now gotten a kill on the med as well. Uh, once again, Frey in behind, taking down the demo man because he was able to get the flank route perfectly. It's just, uh, it's one scout now left against two soldiers and a scout. There's pretty much no way Frey is going to survive this particular engagement. Um, you know, I shouldn't make predictions, should I? Pretty much not. Three health left in the scout. If he, okay. I was going to say, if he gets a kill, there is, there's no way. I'm just going to quit casting because, uh, ridiculous. But anyway, I don't have to quit casting yet. That's good. That's good. Uh, Team Supremacy hanging out on mid right now. Very, very familiar territory for them. It seems like they're they're not able to really get the aggression together to take last, but they are able to hold mid very effectively for some reason. Uh, it's it's just what they do. So Supremacy able to push out here, and they'll probably go jump in that spire once again. They shouldn't have much of a problem taking it. There's no uber advantage, but good spam coming in. Really hurting Natapon right now. Phantom is going to want to jump in after this demo, dealing a lot of damage to him, but he's got to be careful. A lot of aggression coming out right now to Spice Boys, and so a good decision to back up, as the rest of the team is pretty much dying, including the med. Spice Boys, once again, may end up uh, capping mid. In fact, if they don't cap mid, I'm going to quit shoutcasting. Okay. that's I'm calling it right now. If Spice Boys do not cap mid right now, in this push, I will never shout cast again. Because I will just have no game knowledge whatsoever. But there you go, they do cap it. Um, and they should be able to push out probably to second as well. They've got this big uber advantage, they can use it to get through the choke and get in on top of their enemy. Um, they got to watch out for Drac, who is apparently hanging out inside of the house. But uh, he decided to walk off a little bit too early there. And now is dead as a result. He was going to die anyway, but he kind of wanted to just force an Uber, and he's not going to be able to get away with that. Um, it does look like right now Sev is standing on his spire, trying to, trying to prevent his enemies from really being able to jump in. But there goes the Uber, and he uh, very wisely just backed out of there as quickly as he possibly could. There was a back cap attempt, but I don't think Supremacy is going to get away with it. Oh, air shot! Double air shot from Mant! Ridiculous play. And he does get another kill there as well on Phantom. Mant! 
incredible soldiering skills right now. Holy crap. So that was pretty ridiculous. Uh, and that does mean that Spice Boys with two kills, including the enemy med down, they are going to jump straight into last. Somehow he just walks into two pills, though. Uh, still, I think they should be able to cap this. There is a back cap going on, so somehow Supremacy actually managed to just barely stay alive here, and they got a bunch of kills. Good kill by Frey, Snowblind. I don't know what to call this guy. I'm going to keep calling him Frey, but I'm sure I'm wrong. Maybe it's Snowblind. They're, they're trying to once again recapture this, but I mean, they got to be really careful about that. You don't, you don't want to lose everything here after you've just... Oh! And they just might lose everything. Um, so once again, mid may, uh, may end up getting back in the favor, or in the control of SPR, Team Supremacy. Okay, so I'm being told it definitely is Snowblind. That is what I should be calling the guy. Alright, it's not Frey. Cool. Smoglet on the sniper. This guy is going to... I guarantee you he's going to get at least one headshot here. Where is he? Oh, he's in the house. Maybe not. He's getting pressured right now, and he's going to continue to get pressured, so he might have to back up and switch classes. And he will. Supremacy, though, getting ready to uh, to push here as they've almost got their Uber, and it's a nice advantage situation they have. They're going to know it. I mean, when you're the med, um, you kind of you keep track of like what your Uber percentage is at when the enemy medic spawns. So essentially, that's how much advantage you should have. It's like, if I'm at 40% and the enemy medic just spawned, I have a 40% advantage. And that you should typically be able to tell timing-wise. The more you play, the easier it gets. But, uh, oh my gosh, Supremacy losing a bunch of players again before they're even able to push in. No Uber. And yet somehow they back cap it to victory. Finally a point after, what, like 21 minutes? It was a 21-minute round. It was a ridiculously long game. Holy crap. So, it's going to be uh, Team Supremacy... Their game to win. Oh no, Spaceman totally screwing up his rollout. That is not good. Uh, it's going to mean that likely the Spice Boys are going to lose this mid unless their opponents also screwed up their rollouts. Um, they're taking a valley, and Spaceman is very far down right now beneath the point. He's not really going to be able to lay down a whole heck of a lot of damage. And somehow, though, uh, Snowblind gets in, gets a bunch of kills. Spaceman down, but I mean, it's only Havoc left alive, and he is getting chased down by Smoglid. Um, that's not going to work out too well for him. So, complete wipeout there for uh, for Team Supremacy. But they at least killed Natapon. So we are going to see the Spice Boys uh, not having a gigantic uber advantage. Only by about five seconds, maybe. Snowblind, though, he's in on last. Did they see him? I think they might have spotted him. No. Oh, no, they did now. Okay, he's got to get out of there. Get out of there! Snowblind! No! Okay. Too bad. Too bad. So sad. He tried, but uh, it, was, it was not going to work out for him. Still, it's only six against five, and Supremacy could get back after here if they're not careful. I'm. You kind of want to watch this lower area and... S can they see it? I think they can. Yeah, okay. They're definitely doing a forward hold. They've got somebody trying to jump uh, second right now. It's a decent hold from them. And one thing that this hold will do is it will even up the uber situation considerably. Um, it, it makes it so that if red team wants to push with the uber, they kind of have to use it just to get in through the doors instead of getting into last. Now, it's a risky thing to hold, hold forward like this, but if you're at an uber disadvantage, sometimes it's a risk you gotta take, and that's what Supremacy is doing right now. Uh, once they have their uber, I think they will back up probably to last. I would hope. They do have it now. And there you go. That's exactly what they're doing. Once they realize, okay, now we've got the Uber, so now it's going to be easier to hold last. They just back up to it because at this point, it's like, ah, you don't need to, you don't need to hold forward and risk losing them around anymore. Um, the only reason to hold forward is if you really have a, if you've got a good opportunity to do so, where you know you're not going to get back capped right away, um, and you have an Uber disadvantage because that way you, like I said, you basically nullify that Uber. Uh, right now there is a Sentry up somewhere, I think, it's at least an Engineer. That is a level 3 sentry. And so that's going to, oh, actually get spammed down immediately as the red team is thinking about pushing in. And is he laying another sentry down? Probably not the right time to be building that. Um, there will be now a level 1 sentry, but it gets taken down really quickly. He will just go back to being a scout for the moment. And Smoglet and, and Snowblind are both down. I was going to say Frey, because I'm an idiot. But Smoglet and, and Snowblind are both down. I almost did it again. Oh my gosh. Anyway, um... Good kills on the retreating Spice Boys team right now. They want to get back and at least defend second if they possibly can, but at the moment it's just going to be... Uh-oh. Is that Natapon taking damage? No, never mind. I think it might be the other one. The other med. The blue one. But I heard a med taking damage, and I was like, wait a minute, what's going on here? Um, that is going to be a good capture for Team Supremacy. Whoa, Epps jumping into stickies there, but he did manage to uh, have good reaction time, and enemy demo man apparently did not. 
So Epps taking some heals right now. He wants to jump Spire again because they've actually got a big uh, player advantage. Smogla in behind the enemy team, meanwhile, in this lower lobby area. And he takes down the Havoc. Ridiculous. How do you shut down a scout like that? That is so awesome. I'm just, it's, it's absurd. It's truly absurd. But the Spice Bros are going to be able to push him once again with a nice big uber advantage. And this, this should be the round. If it's not the round, then Spice Boys really have some work to do because they've got, I mean, this this round has been handed to them. A couple of big kills there. That's going to be a scout and a medic down. Uh, soldier's very hurt. That's going to be a soldier down. Drac is one of the only ones left, and he's at eight health, so he's not going to be feeling up to defending this. Yep, there you go. Spice Boys taking it one to one with five or so minutes left to go here in this half. I'm going to watch a uh, Demo Man rollout because Demo Man rollouts are cool. They're pretty cool. Uh, we watched Space Man last time. And this is a hard rollout to do, by the way. I know I've said it before, but man, that's tough. Spaceman taking a... You know what? He's doing it right. He is doing it right. Gets there with maybe a, a tiny second slower than he should have, because I think you can get there by 945 instead of 944. Um, but, you know, a pretty close to being a perfect rollout. Spaceman... Oh, he's taking a lot of damage here. Gotta watch out for the uh, spam. But apparently Havoc is a nice skill on Mant that we totally missed, so I apologize for that. Uh, and Clever Tommy, meanwhile, is not able to defend Havoc. So Havoc does eventually die. Clever Tommy now wants to get in and do some of his own uh, murdering. And wow, actually doing really well here. Did he actually hit the med? I think he just made the med bleed. Oh man, that's ridiculous. That Boston Basher. What a weapon. I like it. I like the fact that it is now allowed and competitive. It's, it's, uh, it's, def it's definitely balanced for competitive. It lets you do a lot of things that you couldn't normally do, like making bigger jumps, but at a, a significant cost. It's just like a rocket jump where it's going to hurt you if you jump with it. And of course, you can uh, you can be building for your med as well. So, I like it. Ever since they introduced it to ESEA uh, a couple seasons ago, it's it's been a good addition to competitive TF2. And that was not a jump at all, but apparently he didn't mean to jump there. What he really meant to do was just try to build his uber a little bit faster. Smoggled on the pyro. Uh, I guess they assume they have a big uber disadvantage. It's not really that big, though. And uh, how does his loadout look? He's got that mask thing going on. The gas mask, right? Is that for the gas jockey set? The Foster's Facade. I don't know. And, of course, uh, a nice little halo. So this guy definitely doesn't cheat. I don't know. Maybe he cheats. I have no clue. Um, you know what? My stream... F I've, I look over to stream chat for just one second. And the first thing I see, chocolate is a color? Well, of course it's a color. If Crayola calls it a color, I mean, it can't be not a color. A good attempt to reflect there, but apparently nobody was standing on the point. So Team Supremacy just goes ahead and takes that one. They're just like, oh, I guess we didn't need the crit set after all. Um, we just needed to go stand on the point for a little while and win it. Cool. I like it. Um, I want to see what happens here with Snowblind on this mid-fight. If he dies first, oh well. But I'm kind of thinking he's going to be able to do some good damage. Clean up for the damage that his uh, demo and soldiers put down. He's taken underneath right now. He's got to be careful about his enemy scouts. There you go, though. Uh, Snowblind getting one of the first kills on his team. And he's starting to chase down that med. Thinking about going after the demo as well. But uh, Sev gets a really good kill on his fellow scout, Smoglet. So he's got to back up a little bit. May take some heals uh, and start capping the point as well. And I'm pretty much just like, I'm entranced by the scout battle right now. So I wasn't talking for a second. But... Snowblind was going for the scout, not able to get it. There's been a bunch of uh, respawners for SPR now. Supremacy's probably going to be able to take this. Snowblind, very, very careful here. He's at nine health left. Going for the meat shot. Doesn't get it. Uh, so that's going to be a death for Team Spice Boys. Supremacy cap in mid. Now they've got to watch out for this Uber coming in because there may very well... No, okay. No Uber. Uh, Havoc was very, very close to dying. But whatever. Our Ozone Gaming team should be okay here. And they are going to push their Uber through. Oh, whoa, good force out of the Uber. Uh, but they could still get some damage done. And they're getting the capture done right now, too. So uh, Natapon wants to jump his guys out here. They don't want to lose Spire. If you lose Spire, you're basically set to defend your last. And you have to let the enemy take the initiative. Uh, right now, they are, in fact, losing Spire. They take down... Whoa, excuse me. They take down the enemy med. But what is happening on last right now? Spaceman taking a lot of damage. Oh, somehow Clever, Clever Tommy did not see the soldier behind him. He wanted to focus that demo down, but he was not able to do it. And Supremacy lost too many players. So, at this point, are they even going to be able to really hold second? I don't know. Drac does take down Snowblind, though. No uh, no problem there. Smoglet on the spy once again. And is he just... No, okay, yeah. He may have just been trying to tell what the enemy was holding as a medigun. 
if he'd been holding a crits, I tell you, he would not have gone out as heavy. If he'd seen a crits coming in, he would have gone out as either pyro or sniper or maybe just scout. Uh, but he saw a regular uber, so he's going to go heavy. And good detonation there almost to everybody from, uh, that was Havoc, Cortex, and Clever Tommy. I think they were all standing on the point. Oh, but you know why? It's because it was halftime. All right, we're on the smoglet cam for the second half here. Uh, and have they switched colors? I think they have. Spice Boys now in the blue. And Team Supremacy in the red. Um, the score is, of course, 2-1 to one in favor of Team Supremacy. And Smoglet's pushing out once again. Uh, he's, I mean, he's almost fully overheal right now, so that's a scary scout to face off against. Especially considering how much damage this guy puts out. Um, I would not be surprised if you pulled up the stats and Smog that was like one of the top damage players. As well as Snowblind. These guys just have incredibly sick scouts. Um, now, I would love to hear from you know a really you know high-level scout, like whether they think Snowblind and... Uh, what? 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 What just happened with that pill? That pill looked like it bounced off of Snowblind's helmet instead of detonating on his face. I'm sure it actually hit, like, the crate or something, but that was pretty ridiculous. I want to hear from a high level, like, an invite scout, you know, whether these scouts are really good enough to be, you know, like, invite or premiership scouts in, you know, EU or NA. Um, because they seem really amazing, but maybe they're just, you know, maybe it's just everybody else is really bad and they're getting a lot of opportunities. I don't know. Regardless, they, they've got the aim. Um, they've definitely got the flanking routes. And they're getting a bunch of kills, so they are very much carrying their teams to victory here. Um, Clever Tommy right now, where is he? There we go. Uh, Clever Tommy is going to be the control point is being captured. sitting next to his uh, spawn door right there. It's a decent place to sit. Um, it lets you use this door to just cover yourself from rockets whenever you want. And you can uh, switch spawns, which is what he's going to have to do now because the rest of his team is sitting on their last. Uh, they lost that mid-fight, and as a result, they are pretty much stuck here. You've got Sev trying to build the Uber with his med. In fact, there's only three... What the heck? There's only three players right now alive for their team. Here comes the Uber. I mean, this is just going to be over for a round. There is a sentry gun up there, but it's not going to matter. Uh, the stickies didn't even get detonated. The scout was just kind of edging the point, and that's that. So it's already 2-2 two to two, um, as the Spice Boys are bringing it back. And remember how I said uh, Havoc, you know, I... I don't know whether he's going to send me a game where he wins or loses. I mean, typically, you know, if somebody sends me a game, they're going to win. But we'll find out. Because it's possible that they don't. Right? I don't want to, like, give stuff away here. And you know what? I've seen occasional comments that are, like, spoilery comments. It's like, oh, I wanted the other team to win, and you mentioned the other team, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, now I know who won. Don't do that. Come on. No spoilers in the comments. I don't, I don't delete a lot of comments, but... That's one of the ones that I really will. Uh, oh, and by the way, there is a contest going on right now, so uh, I am going to try to get a signed weapon from like an invite player, or a signed set of weapons, or whatever I can do, and uh, I'm going to give them away. So, look at my... The, the way to enter the contest is on the Demo Man commentary that I'm publishing on YouTube. Um, basically, you just have to watch the end of that, but you can watch it all the way through, too, because it's a pretty cool commentary. But you just basically have to watch the end. Because if you've watched this far on this video, I mean, you've already watched enough Sal TV for today. So just go to the end of that video and uh, and see what you have to do to enter the contest. And you could get signed stuff from invite players. I'm basically going to randomize it. So it's very, very possible you could totally get some signed stuff. Like, like imagine an entire pyro set, you know, uh, Axe Extinguisher, Flare Gun, and Degreaser signed by Bloodsire. Who wouldn't want that, right? Who wouldn't want that? Um, so I'm going to try and try and do my best to get that kind of stuff signed. And we now have Team Supremacy taking mid back. After I think they temporarily lost. Maybe. I could be wrong. But uh, Cortex here playing around the rest of his team, just kind of defending for the moment, being kind of passive. But now he will try and chase down Natapon. Uh, it looks like Supremacy should be able to take this. I think Cortex is... Oh, he spotted enemy scout, that's why. You gotta be careful about this, because these scouts on... Uh, oh, nice kill by Cortex. I was going to say these scouts on our blue team are um, just beastly. But Cortex showing us exactly how good he is at it as well. Pistoling at the heavy just to try to deal some damage. And already that heavy is down, so SPR should be able to take this round. It's going to be a very quick 3-2 here. 
A lot of sticks on the point, though, and all of a sudden, I think uh, Spice Boys might have stabilized a little bit on this last point defense, um, as now Havoc is the only one left alive, so yes, they absolutely have stabilized. Is he using the crossbow, or... Uh, no, it's like he's using the regular needle gun, I think. What are you do? Oh, Havoc. Oh, Havoc. So Havoc was going for a back cap as a med, which, uh, let's, be, let's face it, that would have been hilarious if it worked. Uh, Tamu the European medic of years past did all kinds of, he did that all the time it's pretty freaking ridiculous um, but uh, you know Havoc was going for that as well and he just happened to walk into a soldier it would have been pretty hilarious if he got it but it was very low you know low probability play it's just that he knew he was not going to be able to escape there anyway because the enemy team was already like wrapping around him and, and so he was he was just in a bad position gotta do what you can in that position as a med can I say the word position one more time is that is it too many positioning words? Too many times to say position, 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 position. Okay. Anyway, um, supremacy now losing a lot of ground against the Spice Boys. They were almost able to push into the enemies last, but uh, now of course they will be on their own. Last point. And a uh, good pop there by Natapon. He realized that sticky right next to him could have actually killed him. So he did go ahead and pop it, and they have found the med havoc down. So Havoc was just in a little bit of a weird position there. Oh, and Adipon going for the, the uh, Uber Saw swings. Sadly, he didn't get it. But I think Spice Boys can just push in anyway. They just need to cap second here, and they should be able to do that. Watch out for the demo! Spaceman's having some difficulty here trying to face off against Sev. Because Sev has superior positioning. That uh, Spire is actually a very open point. Supremacy has Clever Tommy just trying to deal some damage to the uh, blue team who are apparently in retreat for some reason. I don't know exactly why. Sev going for the air pipe, not able to hit it, but he does manage to just barely get saved by the med. I love that med realizing he's going to take a lot of damage, so he saved his demo. Smoglet, though, coming in behind. And you notice that Smoglet did not start shooting right away. He waited until he was in range for a good meat shot, doing a lot of damage. Didn't manage to actually get any kills, sadly, but Snowblind did somehow manage to sneak around behind and uh, grab Sev, so the, the supercharged electron volts I guess, is down. Um, Snowblind wants to try to collect spawn kills, I think. Wh uh, Snowblind, what are you doing? <laughs> I, what just happened? Why would he like walk straight in front of that spawn door? I have no clue why that happened. Uh, Supremacy is now capped mid, and they're going to want to start pushing again. And remember that right now it is, what, two... two. So this game still could go either way with, what, uh, 22 minutes left to go. We probably will take the entire 22 minutes, I'm willing to guess, because this, this has been a slow game so far. Neither team really able to put together these last point pushes. I want to say, um, I mean, the defense has, has been good, but it's really, it's just been offense is lacking. I, would, I, I think that is the case. Um, neither team has really been able to effectively just set themselves up and stabilize in their enemy's upper lobby. Like, that's what um, that's what Supremacy wants to do now, but they actually have to back up because they've got such a huge uber disadvantage and they've lost two players. Havoc's down. Um, it's They're just not able to, to set themselves up to hold the upper lobby. And if you can't hold the upper lobby, you're very rarely going to be able to push into the enemy's last. Uh, there is going to be a back cap attempt, though, but it's probably not going to work out. So, SPR, you guys are screwed. So pretty much, um, yes, these are high-level teams, but... They just don't seem to have enough practice or whatever it is uh, taking enemy last points. They did force the Uber. Drakarg did exactly what he needed to do, so he died there, but he died for a purpose. You know, he uh, sacrificed himself for the greater good of his team. Nonetheless, Supremacy still only have two players left alive. Clemmer Clemmer Tavi. Clever Tommy got taken out, and Spaceman just trying to lay some, some uh, damage down over the house. And Spice Boys should be able to take this. I've been casting for so long today. I apologize. I'm just going to have to, like, stop every so often. Going for the air pipes once again. Not quite able to hit him, sadly enough. But he is going to continue trying to lay down spam. And he does hit that one on the, the soldier. So a lot of damage coming down on both teams, actually. Look at the health over on the right-hand side. You see Epps very, very hurt. Um, he is trying to escape here. One little, uh, one little shot from a scout from even long range would hurt him. But he does finally get the heals. And he's probably at crit heals now. So he's, he's going to at least take a lot of them. There you go. Taking a very, very quick healing uh, situation. Is he... No, shotgun. Okay, so he's probably pocketing. Unless gunboats aren't allowed. But Epps down already, so a good uber situation from SPR. Smoglet backing away. I'm not. I'm good. Yeah, from SPR. What am I? Idiots? Yes. 
Um, but now, of course, the Spice Boys are starting to clean up with some of these kills and watch that kill feed here to see who ends up winning it. Um, Snowblind getting a nice shot off on Havoc. So once again, the meds down. I tell you, I don't think I've ever casted a game where the meds die quite this often, uh, especially not at this high of a level. But it's, it's just a Vantum left right now, and Vantum gets taken out. So actually, SBR not able to get back onto that point. I'm not sure if supremacy is the right word right now for what they are experiencing. Cortex is going to have to back off here, or not. You could just decide to... Oh, no, he got away from that quite nicely. Good surf. People are going to get really pissed off. Like, there was a guy on Reddit once who was just super anal about calling that a surf. He was like, no, it's an air strafe. It's totally different. They're two different things. It's not a surf. I'm just like, okay, dude, that's cool. Um... Apparently, colloquialisms are, are very, very specific in their usage, and I... Whatever. <laughs> the guy was definitely being anal. Um, you know, we call it a surf every so often. If you really want to get technical, surfing is actually using sideways surfaces to... Uh, oh, we got to pause. Sorry, I missed that. Anyway, surfing is the... Like, getting onto a, a sort of angled surface and just kind of angling your movement. You know, if you've ever played a surf map, that's what surfing is, really. And then... Uh, uh, air strafing, of course, is the actual changing of direction in the air that is allowed to do by the source mod. So, yes, there's a difference, but you'll hear us call, you know, you kind of use the terms interchangeably because you know what we mean. You know, if I say, oh, nice surf by the med, you all know what that means. It was a nice air strafe, and it was just easier to say surf. Anyway, uh, Supremacy now not feeling supreme at all. In fact, they are feeling pretty much like Havoc feels right now, which is all dead. So, Natapon able to get back to his team. They are actually back cap. Well, they're way ahead, I think. No. Behind? Yeah, so they had to stop a back cap attempt while they had somebody on mid. Um, there was a little bit of a fight on mid. Soldier jumping in right now, but he gets taken out real fast. There's a lot of spam coming from this demo over here, but he's going to get pressured by a soldier. Soldier actually ends up dying to the scout. Cortex with a very good kill there. Uh, and Spice Boys. <laughs> I see SPZ, and I just want to say Space Balls, but it's Spice Boys trying their best to cap mid, but it's just not going to happen. Uh, no, I'm sorry, it is going to happen. Um, Supremacy not able to hold on to it is what I should be saying, because now I'm confused by the colors. Colors are confusing. Epp's going to take a jump past the Spire, actually, not wanting to get right on top of it yet. He's helping his med, uh, well, that's why, he's helping his med walk up the Spire and not take too much damage, and now he will push forward. This guy is a beastly soldier, I'm telling you. Um, what an amazing guy. So when they say MGE heroes, you know what they mean. These guys are MGE heroes. You know, they play MGE nonstop. There's a lot of people in, in all the scenes who do that. So, um, I'm pretty sure you're going to see more of that out of the Euros as well, because for a while, Europeans kind of took this attitude of like, well, you know, these new kids who came up just playing MGE all the time, whatever, they've got skills, but they don't have, you know, like, strategy. And then you have teams in North America who are just like, yeah, MGE is a cool tool to, uh, to get yourself better skilled at the game. And all of a sudden, you see what happens at I-46, where, you know, Americans were practicing MGE. And I don't think the Euros were very much. Spice Boys capping it, though, and bringing it up to 3-2. to two. So, uh, the double scout combo attack there. 2x scout combo! I want, like, a graphic for that, you know? Just something to pop up on the screen. Looks very, you know, old retro video game. Like, 2x scout combo! I, I want a graphic, but I'm not a graphic artist, so I'm not going to be able to. Anyway, just imagine it's there. Um... What was I talking about? I was talking about how Spice Boys are ahead. Possibly for the first time this game. And so this mid-fight is a big important one because if Supremacy loses it, they might actually end up losing this game. Right now, it still could go either way as both teams have only lost one, but now Spaceman's down for Spice Boys. They're probably going to... This is weird. They're trying to get aggressive in on the med, and they do manage to take down the med, but where is Natapon? That's the question. We're going to have players trying to hunt him down, and right now, he's actually trying to get away into his spawn. He actually does get away. But, this is interesting, is he, by rules, allowed to switch spawns? Because I I know that you can. Oh, man, you are ridiculous. Um, if you change your hat or, or something, it counts as, like, enough of a loadout... Oh, not upon you're in trouble. Um, it counts as enough of a loadout switch to move your spawn, but you still keep your uber. Um, 
Natapon in some trouble here, but once again, his team is just continually able to save him, and so he hasn't had to try to switch spawns yet. He keeps getting trapped in this spawn. That was so ridiculous, and they haven't killed him yet. He's actually building the Uber up, so now he's going to be able to walk out here and have no problem to help him defend. The problem is they've already lost this point. It's just surprising to me, but yeah, Scout going to be in on Havoc, and Havoc is going to get taken out real fast by that. Everybody else just kind of scattered away from him, realizing, oh, crap, we were way out of position. So Supremacy losing a bunch of players. Are they going to go for a back cap? I don't think they are. They're actually really far away from that last point so uh spice boys somehow managing to hold on to that despite the fact that their med was trapped in their forward spawn for like ever um i don't even know how to say this guy's name but we haven't had any camera work here on she or z so i feel bad about that uh apologies to z is he is he subbing like did they lose someone and now he's in for a sub i don't even know um but no they are going to lose that point again and be right back onto their last. But at least this time, Natapon is like in position to actually defend last and has an uber advantage, so not a huge deal. Apparently, I did miss 3k. Uh, I do apologize. I can't catch everything. And and I know that I'm occasionally, you know, it's just, it's part of the game. I am occasionally going to miss important kills and streaks because I am I have to watch 12 players. It's not an easy thing to do. I try. Apparently, Snowblind was actually subbing, and she or Z is the like official player. Snowblind was doing such an awesome job on subbing, though. I don't know why you'd want to bring Z back in. Whatever. Anyway, um, I'm I'm guaranteed to miss things, and especially because I'm like cold casting it now. Oh, Sev with the sticky trap. Um, now people have have said like, and and I agree with this that the very best way to shoutcast these would be to have a post-produced cast where somebody, I'm not saying me, but somebody goes through the entire thing, notes all the important ticks down, writes them down, and finds all the important moments. Now, SPR pushing in right here, and, and I'll, I'll talk about this more in a minute. They are able to get some positioning on the point. Uh, you've got oh, Vansom getting taken out, though, and SPR not really going to be able to make anything out of this push at all, except maybe killing Natapom with Sev. But even then, that's probably not going to happen. Uh, Z is down, but Mance taking out Cortex. Oh, Natapon does get taken out there. That's going to be Clever Tommy with a good kill. So that's going to make it very difficult for the Spice Boys to push back out to the second. But you know they might be able to. The control point is being contested. Um, no, the best way to do it really would be to get somebody to uh, to go through, write down the ticks, and then put like the best camera angles to each tick and make a video out of that. Same length of video, but you get all the important stuff, and then you just have the shoutcaster shoutcast on top of it. Um, like Lucky Luke and Xtine used to do this, but it takes forever. It is a long and arduous process. Um, now, if anybody wants to try doing that for me and just grabbing some some good games and being like, "Look, I made you a, a perfect video," I don't mind if you want to try that out. Uh, I would I would totally try to shoutcast that kind of stuff. But it's a lot of effort, and so I can't guarantee any return on investment at all, except for just like the satisfaction of having make a good video. Pretty much, that's that's like the only reward you get. So, uh, and I can't do it myself because that basically triples the time it takes me to do every shoutcast. And my goal is to shoutcast lots of stuff and put a lot of videos out there and not necessarily take all the time in the world just making one perfect video per week. Havoc taking a lot of damage, but he somehow got that Uber up. And Smoglet is in on him, though. Oh, he pulled away from the Uber because he wanted to try and get the cap. And it's just not going to happen. There is a backup going on. Spice Boys holding expertly right now. And she is uh, doing his very best trying to come in here. And clean things up. He gets two kills so far, so already it looks like uh, he and Snowblind are pretty interchangeable. He's coming up after this soldier. Oh, not quite able to get that kill, but he does clear the way for his soldier to jump up there. Natapon, very, very low on health. Wow, and Phantom actually comes up to stop this, so Supremacy might still have another shot. To oh! <laughs> Ouch! Phantom with a ridiculous shot on Epps. These soldiers, oh my god. Um, but no, they're not able to get that second point capture, so Supremacy is going to have an opportunity once again. Smoglet probably just trying to check which Uber gun Havoc has out, and he's going to change back to Scout to uh, to help defend against all this. Supremacy will have another shot at pushing into last, but they they're just they're having difficulty doing that. Taking last is so tough. I really I should have like a button that just plays propane nightmares, shouldn't I? Gunshot parade! Clever Tommy trying to get it onto that last point, but he's not able to uh, quite finish off the capture as he gets taken out brutally. Destroyed by those sticky bombs and rockets and everything else that was coming in after him. Um, 
right now we do have oh, a good sticky trap here for Sev. He did a lot of damage to the invading demo, but there is an uber pop here for both teams. Um, right now, Drac getting taken out, so Supremacy losing one player in that weird uber exchange. Mant wanting to try and stop this. The cap is so close right now, but there's a soldier standing on it. It will not get captured. Mant's got to be careful, though. And, oh, Supremacy bring it back. It's 3-3. Three to three. Whoa. There have been so many frag video moments in this. So many frag video moments. You have no clue. Like, th this is the ultimate frag video movie um, game I have ever casted. Ever. Because of all these ridiculous air shots and 3Ks. and s Everybody goes huge. Everybody. Supremacy coming out to the mid-fight now, and... <laughs> Sorry, I get carried away. Um, but no, I mean, Cortex doing an amazing job right now of destroying players. He's going to finally get stopped by Smoglet, though, and Smoglet, I mean, his, his DM just seems impeccable today. Can anybody stop the guy? I don't know. Epps jumping in after the med. He's not able to kill Havoc right now, but Smoglet is now going to back up with the med, making sure that, uh, that not the pawn. Is it like... Okay, so... Somebody tell me if you've ever heard of Patapon. Because there was a guy I used to play with on one of the uh, TF2 servers, I regular frequented, whatever you want to call it, um, called Patapon. And like, he was a French guy, but the only thing he would ever do, like, on voice chat, is he had a mic spam button for this, it was apparently like a TV show or something, and it would just go, pa -pa -pa! like the start of a song. And it was annoying as hell, but it was hilarious. Uh, Small got taken out in Cortex right now, and he's got to escape, but he does with 50 health left. Uh, Supremacy in trouble, and Smoglet with 16 health takes down Clever Tommy, who was trying to shoot him in the back. Now he is... Oh, they haven't even lost Spire! I was thinking they were going to. Takes a needle. One more needle will kill Smoglet, but he manages to just barely dodge all of them. He needs his med on top, but... Uh, <laughs> med on top. Now we're talking about um, TF2 fanfiction. But Smoglet is already thinking about getting aggressive on these players. Once again, he spots a scout. So instead of being aggressive, he wants to try and help his team finish off Cortex just to make sure they save the med. They don't want to get their uber forced early. So actually, really smart play out of Smoglet. Um, I'm going to keep watching him just because this is a smart scout. He's got good aim and he plays smart. And I say he plays smart because he wanted to make sure his med kept that uber advantage. So every threat to his med was the ultimate threat that he was going after first. He didn't just want to go for the kill on, you know, the med demo combo, which can be a nice one to go after if you're playing scout. Um, good decision making. Very good decision making. And now his team has popped the Uber. They've gotten nice positioning. Spice Boys might be able to take this round. Uh, they've only got two, now three enemy players to deal with. One of them is a med. They're already in on last. Cortex does take down the uh, soldier who's invading. He's going to go for the second one, but he can't quite kill Mant. Mant is still up. He's gotten the kill on Havoc. He's moving into the last point, but he will actually get taken down. Still, uh, both meds actually got killed in that exchange. Phantom was thinking about going upstairs and just uh, holding up there. Because it it's, it's very difficult to kill a soldier who is holding up in that room like that. But, you know, let's see what happens. Supremacy now uh, back up on their last again. Things are looking dire. There's seven minutes left to go. And if, uh, if Spice Boy slows it down just a little bit, which is what they're doing right now, um, if they slow it up, then they give them shelves, them shelves. Yeah, they give them shelves because they're constructing a, a cabinet right now, and uh, this is all about how to build cabinets. Now they give themselves a couple of opportunities to try and score, try and get that last point. Smoglet actually maybe like legit playing spy now. Yes, he is disguised as a friendly sniper, just in case anybody sees him. But then he can. Oh yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. He is such a smart scout. He's showing himself as a sniper. He wants them to see him here, pretending to be a sniper. He wants them to know. And now, now they do know. Problem is, he actually just got a bunch of damage on him, and he ate it. So that's too bad. But he wanted them to know he was uh, a sniper, because you play totally differently against a sniper than you do against a spy. And so he wanted to use that opportunity to make them think there was a sniper and actually come around and be super sneaky as a spy. It's, it's a common thing you can do, but anyway. Um, she coming around here and doing some damage to that soldier. Right now, uh, Supremacy actually, they're feeling the heat. They know that time is almost up. But the Uber is going to be coming into last right now. Cortex standing up here as an engineer going to try to stop this. So no, never mind. The Uber will not come into last. Um, this guy has 100% Uber, and yet somehow it's not like sparkling and crackling and stuff. So I don't know what's going on there. But uh, he will go ahead and pop that, trying to keep his team alive to defend this. 
And so far, so good. Uh, very good defense by SPR. But like I said earlier, uh, Spice Boys can take a couple shots at this and then just back out. They'll be okay. Um, and the longer they wait, the harder it is for Supremacy to respond. Because we're running out of time in this half. There's five minutes left. And actually, Supremacy might be about to lose this point. So... I do think Spice Boys will want to push this pretty soon. Small Glit at 9 health, but they're able to push in a fully overhealed soldier, do a lot of damage. Havoc gets taken out by a body shot from Small Glit, and Mant now has gotten a couple kills as well. A nice headshot from Smog, so this is pretty much going to be the round. And it is now 4-3. to three. There is only a couple minutes left for Supremacy to try to win this. If they lose... Oh, wait. Huh? Okay. So... I was wrong, and that's game. Uh, Spice Boys won. Congratulations. Subscribe to youtube.com slash fatmop. Yay, I'm an idiot. Well, I do apologize. It does look like the end of the demo actually crashed for them, so there was basically a third half, but uh, it did not work. The final score was Spice Boys 4, Team Supremacy 3, which means that Spice Boys actually won that game. Havoc sent me a game where they lost. Might be a first. Um, I do apologize again. That uh, kind of sucks we didn't get to see the last of it, but at least we got to see some ridiculous air shots. I mean, you got to agree with me. <laughs> the freaking air shots. Holy crap. So anyway, thank you for watching. Do subscribe to youtube.com slash fatmop where all of my HD TF2 stuff goes, commentaries, uh, TF2 shoutcasts, and other gameplay various things. I will see you guys later.